quiz. <clears throat> Let us take a short quiz. Joint life policy is taken by the firm on the lives of A. All the partners jointly, B. All the partners severally, C. On the life of all the partners and employees of the firm, both A and B. Joint life policy is taken by the firm of firm on the life of all the partners jointly and severally. So both A and B, the correct answer is D. <clears throat> At the time of retirement of a partner, firm gets from the insurance company against the joint life policy taken jointly for all the per partners. Gets what? Gets... At the time of retirement of a partner, the firm gets what from the insurance company? A. Policy amount. B. Surrender value. C. Policy value for the retiring partner and surrender value for the rest. Surrender value for all the partners. The time of retirement of the partner, the firm gets the surrender value for Gets the surrender value of the policy. Gets the surrender value of the policy. Answer, correct answer is B. <clears throat> policy amount will be received only on maturity of the policy. <clears throat> How are unrecorded assets treated at the time of retirement of a partner? A. Credited to the revaluation account, credited to capital account of retiring partner only, debited to the revaluation account, credited to partner's capital account, unrecorded assets. Unrecorded asset, asset account debit to revaluation account should be the entry. <clears throat> so, option A, credited to revaluation account. Unrecorded assets, the entry would be asset account debit to revaluation account. <clears throat> Next, A, B and C are partners sharing profits in the ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1. On retirement of B, goodwill was valued at 30,000. Find the contribution of A and C to compensate B. A, rupees 20,000 and rupees 10,000. That means A will bring in 20, B, C, 10,000. Option B, 8,000 and 4,000. C, no contribution. And D option, 15,000 and 15,000. Goodwill value 30,000. What is B's share? It is 2 by 5 of 30,000. 2 by 5 of 30,000. That's equal to 12,000. <clears throat> uh, what is the contribution of A and C to compensate? Two is to one ratio. It will be in the ratio two is to one. Therefore, 8,000 and 4,000. So, correct answer is option B, 8,000 and 4,000. <clears throat> Incidentally, this is the only option which had the total of 12,000, which we had anyway computed that the share of Bs would be 2 fifth of 30,000, 12,000. Even if we did not find this out, it was obvious from the choices given that it could be only option B. Next, outgoing partner is compensated for parting with firm's future profit in favor of remaining partners. The remaining partners contribute to such compensation in <clears throat> gaining ratio, B, capital ratio, C, sacrificing ratio, and D, profit sharing ratio. This is nothing but goodwill. 
the remaining partners will contribute to such compensation in the gaining ratio option a gaining ratio goodwill will be contributed by the gaining partners to the retiring partner in the gaining ratio x y and z are partners sharing profits and losses equally they take a joint life policy of 5 lakh surrender value of 3 lakh the firm treats the insurance premium as an expense Y retired and X and Z decided to share profits and losses in the ratio 2 is to 1. The amount of joint life policy will be transferred as A option credited to X, Y and Z capital accounts 1 lakh each. Credited to X, Y and Z capital accounts 1 lakh 66,667 each. Credited to X and Z 2 lakh 50 each. and credited to wise capital account with 3 lakh <clears throat> joint life policy surrender value is 3 lakh on retirement only the surrender value will be received they have taken this totally as expense when the money comes in bank account debit 3 lakh to the old partners in the old ratio so 3 lakh will be given equally x y and z 1 lakh each correct option should be a <clears throat> x y and z were partners sharing profits in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2 goodwill does not appear in the books but it's agreed to be worth 1 lakh x retires from the firm and y and z decide to share future profits equally Excess share of goodwill will be debited to Y's and Z's capital accounts in the ratio A one one by two is to one by two two is to three three is to two or none. New ratio is half and half. Old ratio was three by ten and two by ten. So excess share of goodwill will be debited to Y and Z in their gaining ratio. What's the gaining ratio? New ratio minus old ratio. That is five minus three and. Is two is two three. Correct answer should be B. Two is two three. Two is two three. <clears throat> A, B, and C are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio half three by ten and one by five. B retires from the firm. A and C decide to share profits and losses in three is to two. Calculate the gaining ratio. One is to two, B three is to two, C two is to three, and D none of them. New ratio three by five and two by five. Old ratio B retires. It's half and one by five. So if you take what is the gain? Gain we get is let's say ten six minus. Five, and I'm taking ten here also to make it common. If you get ten, four minus two, so we have one is to two. Correct answer is A. One is to two. A, B, and C are partners with capitals of one lakh seventy-five thousand and fifty thousand. On C's retirement, his share is acquired by A and B in the ratio six is to four. Gaining ratio will be. It is acquired in the ratio six is to four given to you. Therefore, this is nothing but three is to two. Gaining ratio should be three is to two. 
correct answer 3 is to 2. Hari, Roy and Prasad are partners in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 1. Roy wants to retire. His share is being purchased by Prasad. What would be the new ratio of Hari and Prasad respectively? Hari's was 3 by 9. Roy's was 5 by 9. He is retiring. And you have 1 by 9. Roy wants to retire. And his share is being purchased by Prasad. So Prasad's share becomes 1 by 9 plus 5 by 9. So that is nothing but 6 by 9. And 3 by 9. The new ratio would be 3 is to 6 or 1 is to 2. Correct answer should be A. <clears throat> A, B and C were partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1. On 1st April, B retired and the new profit sharing ratio between A and C is 3 is to 2. On 31st March, there were reserves of the firm 24,000. This reserve will be divided among the partners as options are A. First option A option is A 8,000, B 12,000 and C 4,000. Option B says A 4,000, B 8,000 and C 12,000. Option C says A 12,000, B 8,000, C 4,000 and the fourth option D option is A 10,000 B 10,000 and C 4,000. It will be divided among the partners in the old profit sharing ratio reserves. So it will be in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. <clears throat> 24,000. It should be 12,000, 8,000 and 4,000. Old ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. <clears throat> Correct answer C.